Hello guys, we are back with another video. This is Finstock Biztock. We give you tips on any business you might consider starting. My name is Patrick. And my name is Emma. And uh, in another previous video, we had done on how to start a hardware business. And we are continuing with the series on, hard, on the hardware business. And today we want to talk about five tips you need to know before you start a hardware business. So number one is that before you start to uh, before you start opening a hardware business, you need to understand the markets. You need to understand the competitors. Who are your competitors? What are they doing? What are they doing best? And uh, what are those things that you should consider that will help you know what your customer needs? And that way, you will be able to identify the pricing strategies you're going to use when you have identified what is it that they lack. Yeah. It is always a good decision to make sure that whatever you are investing your money, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you have done a little, even not that big of a research, mm -hmm. but at least you can know what to expect in the market. Yeah. For example, you can know the prices of the commodities that you're going to be selling, mm -hmm. how your competitors are selling them, and the things that your competitors are doing, and that you can do better to improve your business and outside them. Then number two, you need to build relationships. Uh, some of the people you need to build relationships are suppliers, contractors, because these are the people who will come and, and uh, bring customers to you or maybe they will buy commodities from you. And you can start looking for this relationship. Maybe you can find a construction site that is going on near your business. Mm -hmm. You can talk to maybe the constructor or the... Or the... Yeah, or the foreman or even the workers, they can connect you with some people who are going to be making sure that you are getting their goods at your hardware. Yeah. And then remember to tell them, I'm starting a hardware because, you know, we are talking about tips you need to know yeah. before you start a hardware. Mm -hmm. So you can tell them, like, I want, to, I want to start a hardware. What are some things that I should buy? You know, this is where you get uh, you get advice and then they will tell you, hey, I'll come and check out your hardware yeah. later. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and another thing you need to... Uh, consider before starting a hardware is focus on quality. So you need to understand what are those what when they talk about quality, what do they what do they mean? And you need to look to look for things that are durable, reliable. That is when you're starting, you need to buy things that are durable, reliable and you can't imagine a person buying a large from your hardware and then the next moment when he, he has he has fixed it, fixed it in the door and then it when he opens it just comes now. Yeah. So it is very embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to leave a bad picture for your business because a lot of hardware materials, they are not just they are dealing with someone's security. For example, padlock and those latches. They are dealing with someone. So someone wants a quality product that is going to give him or her good service. Yeah. Then uh, number four, you need to embrace technology. So at this current generation that we are in, uh, you have noticed that most people are selling their things online. And uh, it is something that is catching up with the trend. Mm -hmm. And it is good for you to know how do these people do it? How do they sell online? And also, you need to open your social media account. Mm -hmm. Open Twitter. Open Facebook. Identify a name that you're going to give to your hardware. And then start opening social media because this is where you'll be posting your content, you'll be posting your goods, and that is where you can get customers. Yeah. Because a lot of people now are looking for information online. Maybe for everything. They just do a search good hardware maybe near me. Mm -hmm. And that their near maybe somewhere just your hardware is located. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can start telling them sell because you're selling quality products. Mm -hmm. So they can leave a good review. If if people come and read the review they have left, they trust your business and they, they can buy your commodity. Yeah. At number five, you need to keep up with the regulations. So before opening a hardware, you need to identify what are the kind of licenses that are needed. Because you will be dealing with flammable things. Mm -hmm. So imagine like you have you have opened a hardware and then something catches fire and you don't have a fire, you don't have a fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. Yeah. So because you're investing a lot, so imagine that a lot just going down because you need to consider by now fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. It is very important. So make sure you research the things you need to keep your hardware running mm -hmm. and to make sure that you are safe in case of any danger. Yeah, and, uh, so when you talk about licenses, you also need, you know, these are the things that will keep you from uh, facing the law. Yeah. And then you find you find you have opened your hardware, you don't even have a license. Yeah. So, and then someone, the, the license regulator comes and asks, who is your license and you don't have. Yeah. So that is how you, your business will end. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's not worth it because the, the licenses are just a few amount of, just a few, amount of money mm -hmm. and they are going to save your business in the long term. Yeah. 
So those are the five things or the five tips you need to consider when opening a hardware. I hope you have learned a thing or two. If you have learned something, please leave it in the comment section. If you have a questions regarding the topic we have just covered or any other topic, please leave, leave your questions in the comment section. I will be sure to read it. We also offer some courses here at Hostel University College that are very beneficial to the student. We are going to be helping you start, manage, and run your business successfully. These courses are very important and they are very affordable. For example, they start from 3,000 yeah. and it's not that long. So make sure you visit us at www.fieldstockuniversity.com or call 0703-313-722. Make sure at the end of this video, share, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so that anytime we release a new video, you can be notified. Until next time, goodbye.